Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a special announcement. I'm Robbie. And I'm Jay Marsh. And today we're going to help you guys figure out how to cut the cord properly. So this is Attack on Show. If you're looking at cutting the cord or you're trying to save some money, this is the episode for you. Uh, and I'm excited to tell you guys, uh, when you get rid of cable, uh, you're going to move down to just internet. Correct. Now, the first warning I want to give is when you pay for cable, internet, and TV, the cable companies uh, will give you inter uh, unlimited internet access. Correct. When you get rid of the TV channels, I do want to warn you, they do now limit your amount of internet access. Yes, they so do. They don't tell you that. They know what they're doing. No, but it yeah. is a fair amount. It is one terabyte of, of usage. And I gotta tell you, it's my, my family, my daughter, streaming nonstop. As We've well as playing video games on top of that. Playing video games, streaming movies, music all day long. We've never even gone over half the amount. Mm -hmm. So you're fine when you're cutting the cord. The nice thing is if you're a Comcast user, they actually give you two passes uh, if you go over the limit mm -hmm. without charging you. So they at least give you you know two warnings even that you can Even over the terabyte it. limit is somewhat affordable. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but. Uh, so don't be afraid to cut the cord. Now what we're going to do is kind of go through some apps here, some different options that you might have. Uh, obviously everyone knows that you can get yourself an HD antenna and look at the local channels. Which so, is, works far better than you probably think it yes, does. Yes, you can actually get 4K resolution mm -hmm. on those HD antennas. So uh, that's an option if you want your local channels. Now we're going to go beyond that. Uh, and the first app I really want to highlight is Pluto TV, mm -hmm. which is an absolutely free app with live TV channels. and. This uh, device, I mean, I tell you, the channel lineup on this program is amazing. There is a lot of good channels for you to watch. If you're interested in, you know, just news programs, it has like its own CBS news programs. Mm -hmm. It's got its own, um, it just like about five or six different news programs that you can get. The difference here with Pluto TV though, is it does have uh, some movie lineups for you. Uh, they're not brand new movie channels, but I mean, it's playing things like Terminator, Evil Dead. They have like a horror TV channel, which, an action TV channel, indies, all those uh, all those specific things. Yeah, which is fun to watch. I mean, I, I think we've gotten so used to just watching what's brand new that we forget some of the classic, which Attack on Show likes to highlight. Absolutely. Pluto TV comes in there and reminds you, these are great movies that you've loved, and mm -hmm. we will run them uh, commercial-free, and, and you'll enjoy them. Absolutely. Um, it also goes on, they've added actually some recent MTV channels to the lineup. Nickelodeon um, for the kids, yeah, some of that stuff, Nick Jr., you know. There's a Spike Network, which mm -hmm. uh, went out a little while ago, but Pluto's still keeping it running. Yep. Uh, if you're into like UFC or fighting or some combat sports, there's like six different combat sports channels on this that's running 24 really, you know, hours a day. And really, where are you going to, it, yeah. it's, yeah. It's minor league, it's independent, but those are the guys really battling it out. I find it more entertaining watching those those channels when I'm looking at Pluto TV these guys are really fighting it out they're trying to make a career for themselves yeah absolutely you know, it's kind of like a struggling YouTube channel really <laughs> trying to make things work they're I, pushing it's really been hard. a long time since we've been there yeah uh, one of my favorite things that I do want to highlight with Pluto TV is they do run a 24 7 mystery science theater channel no, no, yeah, absolutely. No yes. said there. Nothing. Absolutely. Uh, where it's just literally nothing but Mystery Science Theater mm -hmm. running nonstop 24 hours a day. One of my favorite shows growing up. I love watching these guys just rip apart these horrible movies. Uh, that's honestly where we've come up with the idea. A lot of the concepts, these, that, yeah. Yeah, uh, with yep. the preview review, and that, you know, it, it, it's what influenced us. Another thing I'd like to point out is the Rift Tracks channel, which is right past the Mystery Science yeah. Theater channel. Now, for those of you that don't know, when Mystery Science Theater first started, the original host left the show. He was an original writer. Uh, he left the show. There was some kind of creative differences. Mm -hmm. But uh, they've continued on the original voices on this Rift Tracks channel. Uh, and what this, it's basically the same thing as Mystery Science Theater, but it's the original voices. You don't see the robot. You don't see the, the characters on screen. Which but, really was kind of... No, but yeah. it, it's, it's watching these old, terrible movies, and they're just doing their comedic uh, voiceovers. Uh, watching these movies, which is great. Which, uh, if you have time, Cool as Ice is on there, which is fantastic. <laughs> they, they give that movie uh, completely they what They tear it, it apart, do they not? A uh, couple other channels to highlight. There's an IGN network, which is for your video gamers out there that you're going to want to watch. There's Nerdist, which is your movie news, uh, some uh, it's technology news. A lot of things that we kind of cover sometimes. News. Yep. Yes, uh, it's, a, it's a great channel to watch. And also, uh, something to point out, uh, Pluto TV has a 4K 
uh, channel on there, which oh, is wow. okay. very cool of touring the world. It's, it's different landscapes and in 4K resolutions. So again, if you have a brand new 4K TV, you're worried about having to pay for 4K cable, there you Pluto go. TV comes in and says, we're good, we got you covered. And the last thing I wanna highlight uh, very quickly here on Pluto TV, they even have the music channels that you love when it comes to cable TV. With the different genres, you can tune in and watch. Um, so again, this app is completely free. Absolutely free. I mean, that, that's huge. And then when you get over with the live channels there, they even have movies on demand. Uh, and it, you know, again, not gonna be your, your brand new no, you know, Avengers no, but movies on it. Solid but movies. there's a great lineup. Yeah. I mean, we're looking at it here. It's got like The Mexican, Rango, Enemy at the Gates, Dinner with Schmucks. These are all movies that are great to watch. The Solarist, uh, The Man in the Iron Mask. That's a great classic. Wait, this is a great classic movie that we yes. probably need to cover in a later this date. This is one of those Beacon Rewind moments where literally we can just scroll through Pluto TV Requiem. and we yep. find uh, a lot of hits that we'd like to cover. I mean, the Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure is on there. Bogus Journey is on there. They're coming out with part three. So mm -hmm. for free, you can get caught up before the trilogy is rounded out. Uh, but it definitely has an, an amazing movie lineup on there, and they do separate it by genres, horror, action. Mm -hmm. It's very, it's a very nice app um, for you to navigate through, and I highly recommend it. It's free. If you're looking at cutting the cord, even before you cut the cord, download this app and try it. Uh, and then the next app I want to highlight, uh, Tubi TV. So Tubi TV is just like a, a Netflix, okay. if you'll say, yep. for free. Uh, again, not the newest of movies, but the highlight of Tubi TV, and I have to point this out. Is the movie paid in full? Nope. Oh. Is Maxim Extreme Challenge all seasons all on se Tubi yes. TV. So if you remember Spike Network when it came out, it was basically the original Wipeout series. It was. That this was is non -stop. the most amazing show you're going to watch. The funniest show that you're going to find on TV. Uh, definitely check it out. Again, Tubi TV, mm -hmm. absolutely free. Uh, and it's nothing but movies. There's some old TV shows on there. There's like, uh, when it comes to movies, it's Charlotte's Web, Rango, um, you know, Titanic 2. Yeah, I, I, oh, really? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, wow, uh, but the Problem Child movies are on there. One yeah, and, two. and 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 Kitchen Nightmare. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of good programming on here that are for free. Uh, again, if you're looking at past time and it's something for free to check out, I highly recommend kind of scrolling through, download Tubi, uh, check it out. There might be some movies and entertainment on there for you to, to check out. Like I said, I, I waste hours uh, just watching the, the Maximum Extreme Challenge. I, I think that show is fabulous. Um, now going on beyond that, now looking at some paid services that are out there. There's sure. a bunch that are out there and we really want to help you narrow those down. Uh, and first, we'll examine YouTube TV. Mm -hmm. uh, YouTube TV, uh, they just upped the price to $50 a month. This is, it, it, to me, is kind of pushing the limit at this yeah, point. Yeah, their, their highlight at the beginning was that it was $40 a month, uh, an unlimited DVR, which I will say right now, I think is the biggest gimmick when it comes to streaming Absolutely. services. Absolutely. I, I, the DVR essentially is dead. Yeah, there's, there's no reason for it because if you pick the right streaming if service, I'm, they're going to have there's everything, there's everything on, on demand. There. Exactly. Uh, but YouTube TV uh, has a great channel lineup, which we're showing you here. Uh, the only thing that I basically tuned off of when it came to uh, YouTube TV, no A&E network. Um, I can't go without Live PD on Friday, Saturday nights. True. So true. that was actually a major, uh, the, the, you know, reason why I had to get rid of it. I tried no. it out. The quality was great. Uh, the streaming, I never really had any buffering. And it's a, it's a little rough when you come over and say, because Rob's in his underpants and his 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 holster. One flip flop. And, yeah, and one flip flop. Uh, you know, watching. You know. Yeah. So I couldn't do with that. So then I did move on from YouTube TV over to Hulu Live TV. Uh, Hulu Live TV does have Annie. And it's has a strong channel lineup. Real strong channel uh, It's got Boomerang, which I love because of mm -hmm. the old classic cartoons, but it does yep. come with all of your local channels. And I do need to mention YouTube has, TV yes, has local channels. It does channels. have some pricing options within there with with or without commercials. Uh, yes, so for $55 a month, you can get all of its on-demand service and uh, it's live TV. Now, the no ads is when you're watching the um, and, uh, the on-demand programs that you're looking for. Now, I do want to let you guys know, Disney did just take over, as of this week, Hulu services. Can you explain that a little bit, Rob, exactly how that works? Uh, so basically, uh, Hulu services has a lot of N NBC programs. This is where you're gonna see a change with Hulu streaming. Um, with Disney taking it over, obviously they own ABC, they own uh, ESPN. Um, so the NBC programs, the licensing programs that NBC provides to Hulu will be leaving. 
Uh, the deal did secure what is on there to stay on there for the next five years. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to be losing the office, uh, Parks and Rec, the, the fans of those shows. They're going to be on there for the next five years. However, the new programs coming out on NBC uh, will be transitioning to NBC's own streaming service, uh, which they do plan to release a free streaming service with ads. So you will continue to be able to watch those shows. You're just going to have to download Yet another streaming, streaming app. service. Yeah. Uh, yet the you know there's more news to come on that. We're still finding uh, out more information on that as it goes. Uh, but Hulu TV for right now, going forward, you really won't notice a big difference. Um, but I have to give Hulu credit. It's live streaming channels. It's a very strong um, channel selection. Absolutely. You get everything yes. you need. Yes. All your news programs, your local channels, your sports programs. ESPN is on there. Uh, it is a that that to me is rated right now the top live. I agree. TV. And then where Hulu comes in is the uh, on-demand programming that it has. Mm -hmm. It has a very large library. Everything back to like all of the Buffy the Vampire seasons, Beverly Hills 90210, Angel. I mean, the, the classic uh, shows up to right now, not, with, like not, the Mindy Project. So not even just the classic shows. Uh, Rick and Morty is exclusively yeah. on Hulu. Um, yeah, it, you know some of the uh, some of the newer stuff that is only on Hulu is found yes. in there. Yeah. And when you pay for the service, you do get these shows that air on network TV live the moment they get released. So mm -hmm. the fans of like This Is Us or um, uh, The Resident, the moment that that is aired on TV, you can click on uh, Hulu and watch that on demand. And Hulu's biggest, uh, The Handmaid's Tale, which is one of the largest shows on on all of Hulu. Yes, it's, it's yeah. exclusively to Hulu, and exactly. Yeah. Yes, and Rick like, and Morty just this week. To get back to that real quickly, announce their new season, which will be ex exclusively on Hulu. On Hulu. So, like all the other services, uh, Hulu does have its own programming. Mm -hmm. uh, the Act, which is a very great show that's oh, exclusively yep. to Hulu. Yep. Uh, so, you do get that type of programming. Uh, movie 9, we'll look at Amazon Prime. If you're a fan of movies, and Amazon Prime does have a strong original programming lineup. There's The Widow, there's Ten Star, uh, Jack Ryan was a huge success uh -huh. on Amazon Prime. Everyone has Amazon Prime, but I don't think they realize the amount of content Absolutely, that is every, out there on Amazon it's Prime. It's a great point, Rob. All of us have Amazon Prime, whether we realize it or not. If you're paying for Amazon Prime, you're paying for two nights overnight free shipping, you have all of this. Yes. And maybe that's why it's not necessarily overshadowed. Everyone's watching it. They just don't make a big deal about right. it because it's this it's the service everyone has. But again, a ton of original content. The movie selection I think is where Amazon Prime kind of suffers. They really I don't agree. get uh, a good movie selection on there or or a large library. A, lot, a, a larger library of classic stuff. Um, if you know a couple of our favorites that are always seen on there is um, The Last Airbender and uh, both of the Actually, iterations that's off of Prime that. now. I mean, oh, that's the it? tricky part with Prime is they are always rotating that library and it rotates very quick. Okay. Legend of Korra was on there for a while. That's mm -hmm. now gone. The Batman anime series was on there. That's gone. That's now gone. Okay. They really cycle through quite a bit and it's, it's actually frustrating to keep up. But for those of you paying for two-day shipping, it's a great option. You, right will, there. you can spend hours on Amazon Prime with their original content. There's a lot of good stuff on mm -hmm. there for you to watch. Uh, the next app we're going to be highlighting is Fubi TV. Uh, and Fubi TV was an original, it was originally programmed to be for the soccer fans out there. Mm -hmm. uh, this was, you know, if you're into soccer, you're into world sports, Fubi was going to basically gear itself towards that to bring that action to you in the States where you could pay for the service and get it unlimited sports. Um, they have a very strong uh, channel lineup now. Mm -hmm. It is actually, it is spread itself, you know, more to, to, to basically the all TV networks. It has A&E. Okay. Um, it's got everything on there except for there's no ESPN, which is a, a huge hit. If you're I'm a saying, sports especially fan. Especially for a lot of people. Yeah. Absolutely. It's got the Fox Sports, Fox Sports 1, Fox Sports 2. It's got all the Fox Sports lineup, but it is missing ESPN, which is a huge hit uh, when you're a football fan. Uh, American football, I will Absolutely. say. Absolutely. Baseball, any of those types of American yeah. sports, without does, that, it's very difficult. It does lack the local channels as well. Uh, so the service there, the price for that is also in the $50 range. Uh, I tested out. Streaming quality was great. Picture quality was great. If you're a soccer fan, that's a streaming service for you. You will get the most soccer possible out of that channel because. And that's really, what it's if you are a soccer fan and a fan of world soccer, if you are, you really probably don't need ESPN. No, no, but if you're an overall sports fan, you're going to need it's gonna it. It's going to be real tough. So that's where it, it yeah. lacks there. Uh, next we'll cover yeah. Sling TV. Are you a slinger? Jeff's a slinger. I, I am. <laughs> uh, Sling TV now uh, comes with two different packages. It has a blue package and an orange package, which is kind of tricky. Really? Uh, the, like, uh, and I'm probably going to get this wrong, but the blue package is, is mainly the Fox Sports 
package and the orange package has the ESPN channels on okay. it. So you're, you have to look at the channel lineup to see which one you like, or you can pick both. And it's not a, a separate channel lineup in each package. A lot of them have duplicates, like CNN is on uh, both, yeah. uh, you, you know, Fox like news, the, things like that. Yeah. And not your local channels. The only local channel that Sling TV brings to you is Fox. Uh, no NBC, mm. no CBS, no ABC. So that programming but does again, I will make that argument when it comes to these lack of things. Again, an antenna. And I think that's what a lot of these apps and, and software, you know, is what they're they're basing on is that you're already going to have the uh, HD antenna at home. We don't need to provide that Correct. for you. Um, but I, like, like I said, when when it comes to all these apps, I think the best option if you're looking at cutting the cord would be to go with Hulu. Pay for the no ads, so you get the Hulu Live TV and the no ad streaming. Uh, it's about fifty-five dollars. So when you cut your cable TV, uh, my cable TV was up to like two hundred and thirty dollars a month. I was able to cut down to just internet for sixty dollars. I paid for Hulu Live and Hulu with no ads. And you're so looking at I'm paying one hundred and ten dollars a month. Right. So I'm saving money. Uh, the quality is great. You're getting HD quality. I really don't have any buffering with it. And really. Uh, I think when you're looking at cutting the cord, you really have to reset your mind frame and that the idea of yeah. you're not going to watch anything live anymore. Like, and not only that, and what are you, what are you really watching? What fits for you, and what do you really absolutely right? Have you, to ask? you start gearing your viewing pleasure on what you are actually interested in. I don't have to wait till Monday nights to watch a resident because I'm a few episodes behind, and I just I can run through them whenever I feel like it Correct. without watching yep. commercials. You kind of get rid of that schedule of waiting. You know, this is us. I don't have to wait for Thursday nights. Mm -hmm. I, you know, if I let a couple pass, I can stream through three or four episodes without any commercials in half the time. And it's almost more pleasurable at that point. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully uh, this episode you guys will find useful. We've got links and more information uh, below to all these streaming services. Uh, and please make sure, make sure you like and hit the little bell button down there so that anytime we do send out new content, you're alerted to it. And again, please make sure if you have something that we're missing or something that you need to cover or feel that we need to cover, make sure you put it in the comments below. Yeah, yeah you know, don't, don't quit with the name calling. You know, give us some useful comments to I don't know, to, I, don't to know. I kind of enjoy that. At least it's attention. <laughs> Any attention is attention. Hopefully we've saved you guys some money at this episode. I hope you find it useful. This is a special announcement. As always, I'm Robbie. And I'm Jay Marsh. And this is... Attack on Show.